In the last 48 hours, we have had a plethora of hopium cryptocurrency news from the likes of Ethereum going nuts, potentially being a deflationary cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, more institutions buying and NFTs going anywhere from hundreds of thousands to several million dollars. So in today's video, I want to boil down the hopium and see if we can come out with a nice cleanly baked nopium piece of news. So if you like the sound of that, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon. If you find some value from the video, leave us a like anytime throughout the video. All right, guys, let's dive into the first few pieces. There is so much here. I am trying to contain my own excitement. First thing I want to do is briefly touch on Cardano's price charts. So we're looking at these over the last couple of weeks. This is going to be a brief period of the video. Cardano against Ethereum. We have seen Cardano continue to fall. We talked about this days ago. I still believe Cardano will get up to that two and three dollar level. We had the price ranges on our Fibonacci levels at two fifty and three dollars. Very good targets to hit. But Cardano may have seen its time in the sun for now. Still a great project. Don't get me wrong. Cardano Ethereum. Ethereum now looks like the narrative is shifting over to Ethereum. Remember this, whenever you get yourself sucked into a cryptocurrency because all the news sounds like it should be going one way, it can very, very, very quickly flip the other way. This is cryptocurrency, remember. Everything is very emotional and that is going to show up in the chart. So we are seeing Cardano drop in price against Ethereum. It's been down for, let's call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, potentially the eighth day that we are coming down in price against Ethereum. ADA USD still holding up steady. That's not too bad. But ADA against Bitcoin coming down, holding its ground. But of course, it's the weakest against Ethereum, which is what we're going to get into in today's video. Cardano and Polkadot still holding its ground up here. Polkadot had its time in the sun. Maybe it will come back in the very near future. There is a little bit of chatter around Polkadot and Kusama lately that I've seen going through. Maybe you've seen it as well online. So don't be like you'll see that come out. So don't be shocked when it does in the weeks to come. The narratives continue to move. Just when everyone was thinking Ethereum was dead, Cardano is Ethereum 2.0. EIP 1559 comes out looking like maybe a deflationary cryptocurrency. So really the idea is to make as much money as we can from cryptocurrencies while the going is good. Make hay while the sun shines, right? If we become maximalists on any one cryptocurrency, we won't get the best results. Moving over to some Ethereum news. Now I put this post up, you can see here 20 hours ago. This was before the Ethereum videos were coming out on YouTube. Now I'm going to say, uh, sit here and say that I'm some sort of genius around this. I never do that, right? This is just simple technical analysis looking at time and price, which I talk about in the course. And I'm going to show you the course, which I, I haven't done on this channel yet. So this was a post up here. If you want to follow this, of course, subscribe to the channel. See these posts as they come out on your YouTube feed. Looking at, look at Ethereum price chart, September 2020 compared to now. What do you notice? It doesn't always repeat exactly, but it does rhyme. Time periods are very important. People just ask, well, what's going to be at the end of the year? That honestly doesn't matter. What really matters is measuring time periods. It, it, you have to see when they start and when they end and the time in between. It doesn't matter what the price will be on December 31st. It's really about a cycle and a cycle can happen anywhere in between those entire years. So these are major macro ranges, 24 weeks from March low to September high, September low to our February high. Look at these, they're, they're very similar repeating five to six month cycles. Six months is a very good cycle to look at. We had about 11 weeks until we broke the top. That's why I'm looking at five to 11 weeks because as the market picks up and more people come in, more hype comes in, these time periods tend to shorten. So it could be anywhere from 50% of the previous range, which was 11 weeks. This is the move here, 11 weeks. So about 50% is usually a pretty good target. We look at that on Fibonacci's all the time when it comes to price levels and it also happens on time. We're looking at the axes going vertical and the horizontal axis as well. So five to 11 weeks, a couple of good comments down here from you guys. So get into it, enjoy what we're looking at and what we're tracking throughout this bull market. With that said, let me show you quickly 
the investor accelerator now i've talked about this often but i don't i haven't ever shown the website itself come across here if you're interested these are the things you'll learn i've looked online and i just saw a, a youtube video today from another creator talking about other projects out there other courses this will be uh, i won't talk about it all that often in the video so if you want to skip ahead do your thing what you'll learn, art of investing, practical strategies to build financial independence, how to keep more of your profits, build a wealth nest egg, how to master the markets for the lion's share of the profit. That's all we talk about here and you see it in the videos when it comes to technical analysis. Learn strategies to manage our destructive human emotion of greed and fear. Financial shifting towards cryptocurrencies, how to trade and invest. So I haven't seen another course that is this in depth with trading and investing teaching you not just a course and you go away and do it yourself we have a 12 month membership group where myself and another a very experienced technical analysis trader helps you understand how to navigate markets cryptocurrency stocks futures markets all of the above with technical analysis so you'll learn how to do this as opposed to an alert group so this is not an alert group you're not going to come in Throw, get thrown fish all the time. This is teaching you how to fish so you can go away and do it yourself. So if you want to get the discount, got to put your name in here, email address, 15% off. I am considering increasing the price of this from what I've seen across the board in all other cryptocurrency groups. This is by far the cheapest with the most amount of help to teach you how to grow. Other groups are mostly giving you alerts and throwing it in your face and there's no actual teaching. Teaching costs a lot of money, and I'm looking to put this up, so if you're interested in getting it while it's still at the cheaper price with the discount, jump into this. All right, I'll quickly show you part of the course. Now, this is the curriculum in the course. Start here, you've got dozens of videos. This is all about the beginning. Quick wins to get started. I run you through how to set up trading view. We've got charting basics through all of the basics. This is me teaching exactly like this here technical analysis, bull and bear, volatility, looking at a lot of stuff we do on the channel but in far more detail and you can ask questions on this and get answers to it in the video content and in the Facebook group. Technical analysis, we're putting this all together, entries, exits, profit targets, picking market bottoms, tops, uh, creating an investment plan, money management and this is continuing to get built out as we progress. A lot of extras in here as well and we're continuing to build more courses into it so this will be going up i am dead set on that after seeing what else is out there considering how cheap it is and it's in australian dollars so you americans and europeans are getting a very good discount here all right enough said on that let's move back to ethereum now if you haven't seen all the news i'm going to go through the headlines and then get across to the charts because we have looked at the chart briefly Let's have a look. Bidding reaches 2.5 million as Twitter's Dorsey's highlights NFT version of first ever tweet. So we've got Jack Dorsey's tweet and Tron founder looks like he is trying to pick that up to be the first ever highest bidder on this tweet. Here's the tweet right here, just setting up my Twitter. So essentially going to buy that. Now, this is on Ethereum. This is huge. Jack Dorsey's talking about Ethereum. There's so much information, so much news, so much hype now around Ethereum. Really pay attention to how the narrative has shifted from Cardano just in a matter of days. In a matter of days, who's talking about Mary Hardfork anymore? Who's talking about Gojin updates coming? Who's talking about Cardano staking? I just had a video on the channel yesterday about staking. It's still all important stuff. Don't get me wrong. It's just there, it's just the narrative begins to shift to something new. We're in a bull market, it's going crazy. Okay, so NFTs, if you haven't seen it, why the hell do you want an NFT? You can just copy and paste it. I can, I can screenshot this now, now I own it. I own a copy of it, I don't own the original. Check out this video by fellow Aussie, Economics Explained, Economics of the Art Market, why this painting isn't worth 450 million. Check this video out if you're interested in understanding how this works. Long story short, the way I interpret it, you'd let me know in the comments if you've got a different way of understanding it, is it's a very cost efficient way of moving money around the world tax free. Now there's a lot of, I've made oversimplified that, but essentially why would this stuff ever be worth tens or hundreds of millions of dollars for one painting? Okay, it's scarce. Great, I can make a copy of it and I have it hanging up and I can enjoy the beauty of it if there really is any beauty in it, just like the NFTs. Personally, I think this is why it's looking so good. You can digitally create scarcity 
like we can with Bitcoin. And the value can skyrocket because there's just one. And so we can now shift uh, value around the world tax free because it's in art form. It's not tax free when it comes to currencies or assets. Those uh, particular, um, say like stocks, they're going to be taxed when you sell them. But these p pieces aren't in that same realm. They're in a different category. Now, I've oversimplified it, maybe missed some points. So I urge you to go and watch this video here if you want to understand the in-depth uh, reasons around art and why the NFT space is going to be so important. I'm going to make some uh, videos on this in the future, but check this out. Economics explained, economics of the art market, why this painting isn't worth $450 million. It's going to give some background to the whole understanding of the space and how it can grow. Continuing on with the Ethereum news before we check out the charts again in more detail. Galaxy's institutional Ethereum fundraises 32 million at launch from a select few. Looking at this, it's uh, about a 24 hours old now, but still important to note about the narrative. This is really what I base a lot of my news on is we can read headlines, we can read into it a little bit, but let's try and understand what the market sentiment is trying to do here and where it's going. So 32 million uh, Galaxy, again, lots and lots of money coming in. Ethereum EIP 1559 fee market. This is greenlit, okay, overhaul greenlit for July. Uh, further down, this could become a deflationary asset and uh, Ethereum is looking to burn the fees rather than the, the highest bidders in gas fees getting their transactions processed. It's looking to flip the other way. This is written by Vitalik Buterin. Flip it the other way so that is you can pay the lowest fee but still get your uh, transaction done on that same block. The proposal co-authored by Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin will transition Ethereum's fee structure away from a bidding system that allows miners to prioritize the highest bids. The new fee structure will dynamically and programmatically adjust fees so users only pay the lowest bid for each block. Additionally, the base network fee will now be burned on each transaction, potentially leading to deflationary tokenomics for ETH. More great news. Narrative continues to progress here. Positive Bitcoin news for the space, which of course flows on to the rest of the market. MicroStrategy acquires another 10 million in Bitcoin. Company balance sheet nears 100,000. Their average price now is $48,888 per Bitcoin. So at the moment, Bitcoin is sitting somewhere around 47,000. They are a negative Bitcoin, or oh, they're just on it now as we change. So they basically break even on their Bitcoin. That's pretty big for a company that has invested so much money into Bitcoin. They're going to want to see this go up a hell of a lot higher to at least cover their costs. We know Michael Sales doesn't want to sell, but there will be a price that he'll probably sell some of it to recoup the costs to be able to invest in again later. So this is very, very big news. Next piece of Bitcoin news, there is just so many headlines here. Uh, Bitcoin mining difficulty lowered for the first time in 2021 amid Chinese crackdown. So this is looking a little bit shaky for Bitcoin, but you can see that it's kind of just fallen to the wayside. We, we don't even hear about the bad news. It's so bullish out there. Breaking Bitcoin mining firms firm Cypher set to go public at $2 billion valuation with SPAC merger. The SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company, so there's going to be a lot of that going on. Uh, again, more and more and more. Coinbase registers second 12,000 Bitcoin outflow in a week. US institutional buyers holding strongly. So much going on here. We've looked through a ton of news. We looked at the charts for Cardano, but we haven't looked at Ethereum just yet. The last thing we looked at was this macro view of Ethereum over the last 12 months. So let's take an update, updated look at Ethereum USD, what we're looking at on the chart. We've seen another update as I film. Update is a higher low and a higher high. I keep it on a white chart here, which is trading view. You can get the link to this in the description. White bars because colored candles are not useful for many, many people. The, the idea here is to reduce the noise. And we wanna see where these swings are. We have just turned the swing up. There's a low, there's a swing high, and this is another swing low. If you wanna understand and learn how to read this, uh, check out the course that I've just talked about earlier. Get it with the discount while it's still cheap before the price goes up. 
Uh, link is in the description to that. Now, this is looking good. This is the target level here, $1,780. Uh, this is the dump bar, and we wanna see if price can retest the area that the market tanked from. That's the important part here. We wanna get close to that, if not touch it. If the market falls away from that, no problems. I believe will turn into a trading range from this point. Looking at what we saw before, five to 11 weeks, currently from the top to currently where we are, we're at 15 days. This is our 15th day, so we're at two weeks. Potentially another two to three weeks here, minimum. If we happen to go sooner than that, I am ready for it. This was a good buying opportunity here because we've broken the swing. But if we go sooner, I, I don't like that because we wanna build a stronger foundation. All right, so it just means that maybe we'll have another area further up in the prices that we may hold out a little bit longer or the market begin to, begins to get a little bit weaker as the prices shoot up faster and faster. But overall, this is a very, very good area that I like uh, for support. If we happen to retest this level, no problems. It's all part and parcel of the game. We can see now that we're beginning to hold a bit of a trading range. Ethereum Bitcoin, also looking very strong. We saw a trading range here, a bit of an accumulation period, lowering volume, and now we just saw a big break. The volume isn't very high, which is concerning. However, it's good to see the market break out, especially after holding support around the 38% of the Fib range. This is a very, very strong sign at the moment. Let's wait and see what happens further here. Overall, ETH Bitcoin is also looking strong. I, I love this on all the charts. ETH USD, ETH Bitcoin looking good. Good trading ranges. I'm not saying this is going to just go straight up to the moon from here. Ideally, we wanna see some, some time beneath these levels and just trade in a bit of a range between the resistance and the support. That would give us a strong foundation to go forward. I'm gonna wrap that up there. Ethereum is looking very strong. We can see it in the news. We can see the narrative has shifted. We can see how very, very quickly the narrative changed from Ethereum being garbage, fees are too high, to all of a sudden EIP 1559, which we knew about forever, and how that has come into the spotlight to show that uh, gas fees can easily be reduced and Ethereum can go into a deflationary cryptocurrency. Two of the biggest pieces to the puzzle for Ethereum. Never uh, get into a maximalist mind state of anything. Just keep an open mind with all of these cryptocurrencies and you'll do extremely well with your investing. Stick around for the bear markets, for the bull markets. Stick around for all the cryptocurrencies. Continue to watch them. Keep them in your watch list because sooner or later they begin to break out and you wanna get onto these trends before they hit the new spotlights on YouTube. Think about Polkadot. It's not being talked about very much, but it's in a little bit of a consolidation uh, uh, pattern here. Now we've got to wait to see whether it breaks out north or south because at the end of the day, it could be a distribution. That's the point of trading. You just don't know, but you have your alert set and you have your patterns of probabilities to play out. They're the areas for, for Polkadot. Let's continue to watch to see if it can consolidate and come back to its time in the sun. But for now, Ethereum is in the spotlight. We're gonna to continue to track this as we do with all of our cryptocurrencies in our portfolio. If you love the sound of that, hit me up, likes down below, subscribe to the channel. If you found value from the video, make it go blue, make it go white, hit that thumbs up button. I uh, will catch you guys in the next video or on Instagram where I'm answering your questions daily with daily Q&A stories on Instagram. So go follow me over there and I'll get to your questions. It's been extremely popular. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you for 80,000 subscribers. We are cruising through this bull market. I'll wrap it up there. I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.